Hello, and welcome back to Target Shooting. Different this time, as you can see behind me, we're not standing in the plane range, we're standing in one of our practical ranges. Now this is our, one of our Silverstone Shooting Centre's practical ranges, which is designed really for dynamic shooting. Practical is the term given to it, it used to be called tactical, but it sounded a bit aggressive. So practical is the term given for basically moving and shooting. There's all kinds of names for it, run and gun, three gun, all kinds of stuff, but generally the rules are the same. What you are doing is you are shooting and moving, sometimes moving targets, sometimes static targets, but always a process of moving. You are ready in a, ready in a situation where you're shooting at target in a static position. Now practical shooting is one of the things I enjoy the most because it's the most exciting and also arguably one of the toughest forms of shooting to get right. You can shoot different kinds of firearms. Uh, today we're going to use a mini rifle, uh, but also you can shoot it with pistols and also shotguns. Um, and really the main thing about it is that it's a timed event. Okay, so as you see behind me, there's lots of power flying in the range, in a practical range. And all that's basically based on things to shoot around, shoot under, shoot over, shoot through. Uh, the level of, of uh, furniture for shooting around for practical is a myriad of different options. Uh, and also a myriad of different processes. But generally speaking, the sport is controlled uh, by what's called the IPSC, which is International Practicing Shooting Confederation. Okay, this is the governing body for worldwide shooting, for practical shooting. Now, each local country has their own version which reports to that. Ours is called the UKPSA, United Kingdom Practical Shooting Association. And these are the controlling bodies for all forms of practical and dynamic shooting in the UK. Obviously, each country has their own version, but the rules base is the same. Now, sounds dangerous. Running around with a gun sounds the most dangerous thing you can do, doesn't it, really? It's actually not. It's actually the safest form of shooting actually condu conducted. The main reason why is always one shooter, one person, with their own range officer with them. Now, <coughs> we'll show some videos and pictures now, but what you have as a range officer is they're controlling and making sure that the shooter is doing what's right. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. We teach this in the training courses that we do is your trigger finger and where your barrel's pointed. There's only one dangerous end of a gun, that's the barrel end. So what you're taught in practical shooting is where that is pointing is a crucial part of shooting in terms of the sport. The second thing is you never move anywhere of any kind with your finger on the trigger. So all the four rules of gun safety we covered earlier in the program, these are crucial for practical shooting. Also, targets. There's a mirror targets. You can shoot everything from wooden blocks to steel plates to moving targets to exploding targets, clays, any kind. Um, it's not set, set just down for a piece of paper. However, the most common one in terms of shooting is this is a standard mini IPSC mini target. Now, we'll show another close-up later on. There are three different scoring signals. There's an A area, a C area, and a D area. All those score differently. Now, in practical shooting, most shooting is done where it's double tap, so two shots per target. So you can see when we start going through, everything is double shot, and you're counted by your best two shots. So if you want to put three or four in there, it's fine. Only the best two shots will score. And these can be hidden. They can be hidden behind things, they can be hidden through things. Literally, the, the whole idea of, of course directors, when they create a course of fire for competition, is to make it awkward. You know, you have to shoot it with your left hand or your right hand. You have to shoot it lying down underneath something. You have to run around the corner from something. And distances can be quite a challenge. You can shoot anywhere for up to one metre for a paper target, up to 120 metres for a mini rifle, up to about 60, 70 metres for a shotgun. And the target's pretty much the same. When you're shooting shotgun practical, uh, uh, practical shooting, you tend to shoot metal plates. Little metal plate that falls over. Or well, you the same thing in 2 2, where your little wooden block, block falls off, etc. Now all this really comes down to against the clock. So you have a course of fire to shoot through, shoot the target as fast as you can. So how do we time this process behind it? Where is a range officer sat behind them making sure they're, they're keeping the finger off the trigger and the muzzles in the right direction? We use one of these. This is just shot timer. So what the shot timer really does is it literally starts a beep. At the beep, as the shooter, you're allowed to start shooting. And what this does, it records every gunshot sound. So the time stops on your last gunshot. So that means you can then work out the maximum time spent, then you take into account the courses, that, what you've scored in terms of your targets, that gives you a final course of, uh, your target final result for the course of fire. So it's very complicated. Obviously you've got different scores, different levels, and it's time, and it's always the argument about practical shooting. Is it better to be quick and less accurate, or more accurate and be slow? 
If you answer that, know the answer to that one, let me know, because it changes from course of fire to course of fire. The crucial thing about it is that it's speed and accuracy. Being desperately slow and getting alpha targets everywhere will be good, you won't win. In the same way, being the fastest shotgunner out there or shooter out there and then missing half things you shoot, also make you win. Combination of both. So arguably practical shooting, it really is quite a combination. So you imagine when that beeper goes off, all of a sudden, flag comes down, you've got to shoot as fast as you can, as accurate as you can. So, the idea about practical shooting really is very dynamic. Now, saying that, you don't need to be some kind of athlete. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not. Uh, we're not talking about running up 200 metres or so. There is some movement round and the firearm, but we're not talking about sprinting, etc. Um, there may be some course of fire, be quite long distance. Here at Sylvan Shooting Centre, we do what's called a 100 metre rundown. You know, it's 40 targets running down of 100 metres. Yeah, that's quite, a, quite an aerobic day. But sometimes there may be a speed shoot event where you'll shoot, you'll shoot five or six targets very close succession as fast as you can. That's the good thing about practical shooting, there's a huge variety about it. Now also, obviously we're quite dedicated to practical shooting. Every one of our ranges is very suitable practical shooting. We have our own dedicated practical range. But you do need extra training. Okay, you cannot just you turn up a competition and say off I go. The trigger finger and the, and the movement type process is a big issue. We here run formal product training courses, introduction of practical shooting, that enable you to go and compete. <coughs> we also run the UK PSA courses, which are the, the, the official safety course, enable you to compete internationally. Um, there's a range of versions. Different ranges have different rules. Some allow a bit more, some others. We're also quite blessed here in the Sylvan Shooting Centre, as much as we have a 180 degree course of fire, because all the bundling setup we have, we can shoot a 22 or a shotgun. 90, 90, 90. Most ranges can't do that. They're more angled in terms of 40 degree. But in terms of 90 degree angle is quite fun. Now also for us, we have moving targets, we have uh, running board targets. So we're quite fortunate here in what we can do here. But for even the smallest ranges, even some indoor ranges, a little bit of cleverness and putting a course of fire together, you'll find a really good course of fire that's worth doing. And there are practical competitions all around the country, both local, postal and national. Um, great fun for the sports to take up. It does need a bit of skill in terms of trigger finger and movement, so it wouldn't be something I suddenly launch into as a new shooter. But certainly having fun with a 2-2, which is a cheap, effective round to shoot with, is great fun. That's it for this one. There's probably loads of bloopers because it's practical shooting and things go wrong. Uh, next programme, we'll start doing things in terms of full ball. OK, thanks for watching again. Cheers. So that's now known as practical shooting. What the hell is that? Yeah, do that one before. <laughs> How does that make you feel, John? <laughs> it went down. It went down. Not my fault. It fell over out of sympathy. Have sex in your own time. You hear the squeaking? Oh, it's a little. There's mice having sex back there or doing something.